Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Pokemon Snake Wood. So uh, when we left off, I didn't realise that there was a HM1 here. So um, actually, I've played this bit before, um, just because I, I tried to record this before and I got so stuck. Like, you would not believe how difficult the next part is and how much thingamabobs you have to try and work out. So um, lucky for you, I actually played through on my app and I found out what to do. Um, it gets pretty difficult, but don't worry, it's nothing I can't handle or it's nothing the interwebs can't search up. So, um, so I thought I'd go over the last episode's comments, because I actually got a few good ones, um, surprisingly. Um, no, I'm kidding, I love all you guys' comments. So pretty much, the first one was, Duke40 says, The house with the ninja in front of it was open, you should probably check it out. So, um, in we go. So that was the ninja at the front, and apparently this guy might have something to say. This man had his brains dead... Wait, dead... dead... Oh. Desago scooped out a hole through his skull through a size of a... What the sh... And are beginning to suspect zombies have an unusual sense of style when it comes to killing people. Loot the corpse? Yes, please. Obtain the Gramblefish. Alright, put away the Gramblefish in the underfoot. Cool. Well, that wasn't too cool. And the second comment that I want to go over is uh, by Sandwich Party X, and it says, "Yo, bro, it's cool you're spending all it's spending your it's cool you're speeding through." Oh my god! He basically says, "I'm gonna sum up before I read this." Uh, but some of the speech is important, and I suggest you actually go slow and you read every bit of speech because your speech makes this hack. So I'm gonna read the speech for you guys. I understand that I was whizzing through it too fast. So here goes, Ando, huh? Who is it? Hey Ando, it's me. I've li oh, listen, I've got some news for you, and I managed to reprogram an old military satellite, and I've got it working connection with Dwarford Town, but it's an island, and it appears they're completely unaffected by the plague. What does it have to do with me? Your brother May, he was last seen in Dwarford a few weeks ago. You should go and investigate. Okay, how do I get there? Here's the tricky bit. You'll need the HM Surf and the balance board to get there. I don't know where you can find the HM, but I know there are a couple of survivors in Norman's gym. I think they might have a badge or two lying around. Look for them near Rust Barrel and ask. Okay, we'll do for the merch. Okay, see you later. Good luck. Click. All right. So um, so yeah, pretty much he said I should uh, actually read the text because it gets the storyline gets really good. So um, we'll do. Um, I always you know love suggestions, comments, anything. I reply to everyone. So um, so thanks to those two people for letting me know what to do. Um, if you guys, I'm actually going to re-heal before I go back up there because there's a gym leader up there, believe it or not, and with some pretty tough Pokemons, so we can actually speed this up. What? No, I don't want to say no, jeez, god dang it. Oh no, not again! Ah, oh, this is all one big party. Too much for me to handle. Alright, come on. I reckon super speed this. Here we go. There we go. And we're going to, oh, we need to teach cut someone. We got cut back at the, um... Back at that other joint, the uh, place that was cut off from everyone. So Hazelnut can learn cut there for some weird reason. He seems to be a HM monster. Would you like to cut down? Yes, please. Slash. Awesome. Go up here. We'll get the Pokeball. What is this? Super Potion. Awesome. Put away a Super Potion in the item pocket. And we'll actually we'll go up here this way. Dun 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 dun. And we talk to this guy. Hey, the dis <laughs> this dead guy's got a Pokeball on him. Let's see what it is. A Pokeball containing a Magikarp. Want to take the Magikarp? Yes, please. We got a Magikarp. Yay! Uh, Soul Magikarp. Alright, so pretty much, if we look at the Pokemon now, we have a Magikarp. Now you're like, Ando, he's holding an item. We go, item, take. Now, check out what he gave us. HM3, which is Surf. And that's how you get Surf. Now, I tell you what, rattled my brain for a good solid half an hour, an hour trying to work out where, who had it as a Google. I'm like, oh my god, really? So, apparently, the Magikarp has it. Um... Anyway, so this is the gym leader with a Zangoose. Uh, we can pretty much destroy most of these Pokemon with uh, continuous sludges. Uh, we're actually pretty overpowered at the moment. It's not my problem, this game actually gives me stupidly hard battles. I've got to train up as well. So I uh, will beat this two Pokemon, and we won. Uh, I couldn't win. $816 for winning. Half puff. You've got this one. Go on, take it. We received the balance badge from Laura. Ha ha ha, yay. The badge increases the Pokemon. I'm sorry, you know, I'm to give you all the badges I could escape with. Uh, now go prove. Alright, let's go beat some zombies. Lol jokes. What we're gonna do now is go back here so we don't get reversed by anyone. If we can freaking make it. We can't go up there because it's like Rock Smash or something up here. Which sort of sucks. Dang it! That's alright. We'll go, um, we'll go back to where we need to surf. So we need. Actually, God dang it! We need to go, um, surf. <laughs> Uh, Dwarford. Swerf to Dwarford. Swerf to Dwarford. If we can talk to dirt, probably not. And I'm gonna try and get there as fast as possible. So yeah, now we got two badges, a new Pokemon, and a freaking HM. Now this has got to be the best freaking most productive episode you've ever seen in your whole life. No, me neither. Alright, Zigzagoon, you can go away, and we are gonna go and surf. Like, fire out, super speed, dang it, balls. 
Alright, um... Let's do it. No! Why, why not? I gotta teach it to someone, that's why. Daniel! <laughs> Sir, alright, use. Who can who can learn it? Oh, I think it might be Zig. Yeah, Zigzag. What is up with Hazelnut? Gee, a hey, HM machine! HM machine! Oh yeah! GG! I'll uh, get rid of Growl. Growl sucks. I, I don't ever use Growl. I mean, it's okay if you're a really tactical trainer. Tiss liquid of some sort. Surf on it. Hazelnut, use Surf. Yay! I think the animation for him using uh, the HMs is a lot better in this. Um, the way he like, holds his Pokeball out and zigzags and comes out. I really don't want any battles. I hate, like, bloody swimming trainers. It's the worst. Ah, uh, Wingo, you go away. Ah, oh, got rid of you, didn't I? Haha! <laughs> GG! We'll go away. And through here. Is there anything on that island? Nope. Oh, now we can go behind the bundles of things. A Quilfit, that's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. And I'll give him a thumbs up for that one. Uh, what's happening? Ah, oh, dang it, I thought, oh, I thought something cool was gonna happen, but nope. Alright, one more sludge, win, cool. Actually, we need some, we probably need some money for Pokeballs in the end, don't we? Actually, what is this? Poke, no, 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 there we go. A, a Risen? Alright, that's cool. We've got a Risen, everyone. Yay! So, whoa, that was close, nearly got into battle. They see me rolling. They hate and patrol and they try to catch me right in my stuff dirty. Try to catch me right. That'd actually uh, be the move Muddy Water if uh, that was the case. So we'll go straight in the jetty. What perfect way to land. And we go to the PC so we can, uh, if we die, we respawn here rather than anywhere. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like us to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We've restored. Alright, congratulations. We have new Pokemon health. Yeah, hey. Hells to the year. Let's go to the gym. I want to get a badge. Let's get a badge up in here. Up in here. Hello. Uh, I'm the... I'm the advertiser. Uh, he's not the advertiser. <laughs> that's the that's the uh, newspaper I get here. Anyway, all right. So fighting. That's cool. I'll just sludge them all. Whatever. Let's get up here. I'm gonna try and. Oh oh. We're we're on we're on the ball. We're on the ball. Come on. Up here. And oh god no. I hate trainers. Damn it. What is this? Yes. One shot kill. What of it, G? What of it? One more. Come on. Bring it on. I don't care. What have you got? Are the evolved form? That's cool. I'll two shot kill you. <laughs> Damn! I sound so bad right now. <laughs> Neighbors like, what is up with that kid? Why did we move here? I don't. <gasps> no! Come on! You got a camera? This is put on YouTube. Advertise. Subscribe. YouTube. Unlisted loose. Come on. Wait. Wrong camera, everyone. Say what you want. All right. Uh. Oh my God! One shot and kill every single person. This is amazing. Hopefully, I don't run out of PP. Actually. PP. Um. No. Wrong way. Um. Okay. We sort of took a wrong turn somewhere. I don't think. Is it that one? Sludge, go away! One sh- Alright, Sludge, go away. Go, go away, stupid Sneasel. This is my one weakness, is that Sneasel Pokemon. I can't beat it. Yeah, another one. Come on, bring it on. One Sludge move. Ten, that's alright. We should be enough. Alright, we've got eight now. Do you reckon eight will be enough to beat a Dream Leader? Uh, Smoke Train, no thanks. Yep, cool. Yep, congratulations. Uh, I hope so. It should be. Oh, I don't know. Dream Leader got any tough Pokemon? Hopefully not. Can you remember this gym? Is this the same? I'm not sure. Uh, actually, that's the way we came. Oh my god, why can't we just learn the move Flash for God? Oh my god! Are you serious? A Persian? Come on! Just bomb him. There we go. And he's got really just tackling. There we go. Alright, done. Now, where is this gym? Like, are you kidding me? I've got gangbang! Jeez, alright. There we go. No. That one, Sneasel, yep, die. One more. I shouldn't use Sludge. Dang it, I'm not going to have anything for the... That's right. We'll save in front of the gym leader, I think. Alright, up here, up here. Up in here, up in here. Y'all going to make me lose my mark. Oh, come on! you got to be kidding me. I, burst, I literally have to be versed. I have to have versed every single trainer in this joint because this is freaking ridiculous. Are you serious? Oh, we're so screwed. Come on, Beats. Oh, balls. Alright, yep, cool. Whatever, I'm gonna find this gym leader. There she is, are you kidding? I should have used a soup potion, actually. Ah, oh, you must be under. My trainers have been warning me you're strong. Unfortunately, I can't battle you just yet. Oh my, yes! Oh, the supernatural forces of life are on our side, everyone. This is so good. Um, you have to do me a favor for me. Alrighty, you see those, uh, there have been rumors lately. Mm. I can't talk today, I'm sorry everyone. <laughs> that, uh, we're going something. A nasty bottom of the solar caverns. I'd like you to investigate. And when you come back, I'll fight you. Is that okay? No, it's not, you stupid pink-haired mother. Beep! 
Um, alright, so now we get to... Oh, now we get to get out of this place. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? So it looks like we're going to the solar cabins to investigate the uh, rumours that something is in the solar cabins of doom. And I don't know why we're always chosen for these dirty jobs, but apparently no one else wants to do them. So to the solar cabins, but first to the PC. Oh um, my god, you super stop super speeding. Uh, and then we'll just reheal so we can get our sludge machine back. Yes, reheal. Thank you very much. Alright, I think I'm going to leave the episode there. Next episode, we'll take on the cabins. That was actually a pretty solid episode, if I don't say so myself. But we'll wait until next time, guys. Click top left or right annotation, but most of all, keep on gaming! See you then, guys.